I'm in Oklahoma. I've never been to this state before. All right, let's do it. Another through hike. F it. Here we go. Tell it's rocky from the way it is. Oh geez, should have looked at the camera. We're gonna get back to your regularly scheduled Kyle Hay. <laughs> We're gonna get back to your regularly scheduled Kyle Hay hiking content in just a second. But first, I want to tell you about this video sponsor, Drink Element, dude. Drink Element is the number one electrolyte drink mix in my opinion. It tastes the best. It's got the best electrolytes. It's the healthiest for you. And here's the thing: when you're hiking and backpacking and you're exerting yourself, you're sweating a lot, you have to be replacing the electrolytes that you're sweating out. This might be pretty obvious when you're on a hot trail like the PCT, but when I was on the Washita Trail, it wasn't that hot and I was still sweating a lot. And so I still needed to replace those electrolytes. And let me tell you, when I was on the Washita, I did just that with Drink Element. They have a bunch of awesome flavors. Citrus Salt is my number one favorite, but I'm out of it right now because I drank it all. But my other two favorites are Orange Salt, which you can see right here, as well as Raspberry Salt. And if those flavors are too basic for you, you are in luck because Drink Element also has some more creative flavors, I'll say, like mango chili and lemon habanero. And what you really want to do is you want to try all these flavors. And you can do that by going to drinkelement.com slash kylehateshiking. That's drinklmnt.com slash kylehateshiking. If you go through that link and make a purchase of whichever flavor you think sounds the best, you're going to have a free sample pack of eight different flavors thrown in with your order so you can try all the flavors. One more time, drinklmnt.com slash kylehateshiking hates hiking go show some love and support to the sponsor i would appreciate that and with that said let's get back to the washita trail we drove through three other states i've never been to before today alabama mississippi and arkansas and now for oklahoma luke's here let's go baby another trail another hike another 220 miles for me this year hopefully the i don't know how to pronounce this freaking trail name we listened to it on the google on the google pronunciation like a million times washita trail because there's gonna be people watching this and we should probably <laughs> get it right <laughs> we're not gonna get it right tons of new gear tons of new gear on this hike i've never been so excited to go hiking with new gear i've always had the same gear for so long now and i finally have like a very very different setup i'll get into all of that stuff for now it's the morning we didn't hike at all last night. We stayed at the campground and it is in the 30s and freezing. So nothing to do but pack up and get moving, get warmed up. We're in Oklahoma. We are. Dude, shut Starting. up. I'm trying to take B-roll right now. You, If it's B-roll, you don't even need the audio, dude. We're doing this. Like, I wonder if they laser cut that. Isn't that so cool, everybody? What a legit sign. What a great way to start a trail. What a cool terminus. 220 miles. Probably gonna take about two weeks. Victory lap from the failed PCT attempt. <laughs> you mean successful and to be continued. PCT. To be continued, that's right. PCT is gonna be old news by the time this comes out, so. All right, let's do some fall hiking in Oklahoma. One of the, like, the main reasons why I wanted to do this trail was because I wanted to sleep in a hammock. Little did I know we'd get the coldest night I've ever spent backpacking, most likely, on the first night out here. <laughs> Luke did the math, and he says it's going to be about, what did you say, 22? It's going to be 21 tonight. 21 degrees tonight. Last night it was probably in like the mid-30s or so, just above freezing. 
And I was good. I was nice and toasty. Slept fine, no issues, but it's more than 10 degrees colder tonight. That could be a problem. It's literally 50 degrees right now. It's gonna it's gonna drop 30 more degrees from how cold it is right now. <laughs> Here's the good news. Luke knows exactly what I'm about to say because I've been repeating it verbatim all day. One really cold night and then within the next three days, four days, yeah, within the next four days, it's going to be warm again, like 80s during the day. So we just got to make it through one freezing night. Tomorrow's going to be about 36, probably similar to last night. We survived that. Then after that, we're chilling. Perfect hammocking weather. Just not tonight. I'm fine. Yeah, it was just as cold as we thought it was going to be last night. <laughs> How'd you sleep, buddy? Excellent! Oh, alright. I slept pretty good, all things considered. Definitely woke up a <coughs> little cold a few times, but... Oh, we did it. It's only going to get warmer from here. And my alcohol stove is currently making some coffee. Hell yeah. Alright, we're all packed up now. I usually take off all my clothes. Like my <laughs> There's no rules! Let's just start back on. There's one rule! I usually take off all my sleeping clothes, camp clothes, warm clothes before warm clothes before I start hiking, but it's so cold this morning. I'm just gonna hike with them on. Probably get about half a mile and then have to take them off. My toes are freezing. Everything's freezing, but we're gonna be okay. Did you sleep last night, bud? Excellent actually. My hot pot of water in my foot box kept my foot nice and toasty until like 11 and then I just slept in the field position all nice and cozy until uh, <laughs> and just rolled around so uh, I got I got at least eight hours for show pretty neat you like that I like it a lot <laughs> So nice to be on a trail with shelters again. I love it. So it's probably about time I start showing off some of my new gear for this hike. So this pack, you might have seen it before in my comparison video before the PCT. But this is the Alien Outdoor Pack that was sent to me by Brandon. Thank you very much, Brandon. Not the Brandon from the PCT. The Brandon that actually, you know, makes these packs. Very slick. I dig it quite a bit. It's super comfortable. I love my ULA CD2, but I gotta say after 21 miles so far on this hike, I really like the way this pack carries. I had it all loaded up with five liters of water last night, as well as basically four days worth of food. So a pretty heavy load and it did good. Brandon was also kind enough to have me ship the pack back to him and add a little loop here for my camera clip so I can you know, do the thing I'm doing right now, man. The vlog thing. Mantises. You ever seen a praying mantis? I don't think so. Dude, praying mantises are so freaking strong. If there was a life-size praying mantis, it would probably rule the earth. Oh jeez, should have looked at the camera. <laughs> Hot dogs? I wish. We could fry some up good. Too bad there's a burn ban. Too bad. What's this place called? Big, is it Big Cedar or is it something else? Uh, I don't remember what it's called. But this is our campsite tonight. Plenty of space for tents, hammocks, and the river is quite low, which you can't see for shit, but it's actually the most water we've seen probably in a single, yeah, definitely in a single source since we started the trail. Dumping out this piss colored water. And instead getting this nice water. Oh my God! Oh my. Pretty chilly.
Oh shit, here he comes. Woo. I have to, to relearn how to throw this thing. I was an mm -hmm. offensive lineman. I was uh, I'm not a hands person. Like, just, just lean like that. Oh, oh, get up! Just gotta turn my wrist a little bit. One more. more. Oh, he's doing the bear hang. I'm hoping I can get it in one shot. Oh, tip wise. Boom. You get it? Oh, yeah. I told you I'm fing good this shit. Whoa, we're halfway there. Hanging on a bear. <laughs> oh, wow. I look disgusting. Good morning. It's day three. We did 15.8 miles yesterday. Today we're gonna do like 16.9 or something like that. A little bit more elevation gain. We're building it up. This trail is freaking amazing so far. I'm loving this. You know, you're not up high like out west on the PCT and stuff. You're just in the, the woods here, but I'm liking the colors. I love just a nice open forest. I really appreciate that after spending so much time on the west coast this year. It's just been great. I'm just, I'm really feeling this trail so far. Very quiet, some shelters. It's a great time. That was good timing to set the camera up. Just made it to the top of, I think it's called Wilson Mountain. And a uh, nice, nice little thousand foot climb. Probably the biggest and steepest climb of this whole trail so far. I smoked Luke because he can't keep up because he's a big wuss. You like that, Luke? And now it's lunchtime. I didn't bring that much food compared to the PCT at least because I was home just long enough to lose the hiker hunger. We're resupplying tomorrow morning, so I don't have much left, but I'm gonna scrounge here. Let's see, we got some hot peanuts, some other peanuts, some more hot peanuts. Oh, and a peanut butter cracker. That should do. All right, we gotta go uphill. How you feeling about this uphill, Luke? Oh, you gonna ask me that question? <laughs> uh, I wasn't doing so hot on the thousand footer earlier today, and now we have significantly more water, and we're going up an even bigger climb. So I'm super pumped, as you can tell. It's gonna be and I'm great. getting jazzed. This is the last water source for a good 10 mile stretch here. As you can see, huge riverbed here, almost completely dry. That's just the name of the game on this trail. Big drought. there says Oklahoma and whoa bright this one right here says Arkansas I'm in Arkansas yeah. you're in Arkansas no I'm in Oklahoma no because the actual borders over there yeah but the that spot. side's Oklahoma yeah going that way is Arkansas so right now we're in Oklahoma oh, I guess no no, no the border the borders over there whatever Who cares? this definitely beats a day in the office editing your videos <laughs> oh! All right, we made it to the old state line shelter. I don't know if I've mentioned yet, I'm using the freaking shitty alcohol stove on this hike. Thought I'd try something different, and um, I'm pretty much out of fuel, which means I already fucked up with it, but... <laughs> it has been boiling water, so it's getting the job done. Good morning, everybody. Spent the night at the state line shelter here. I'm still waking up, about to head out. But... Uh, there's a resident freaking rat in this shelter that Luke saw last night. I left my hat out and it got chewed. 
So sad. They don't make this hat anymore, so I can't buy another one. It'll last for the rest of the hike still, but I'm gonna have to find a new hat to wear in my videos once I get home, because I can't be wearing the rat hat after the hike's over. <laughs> Five miles until Queen Wil Wilhelmina Lodge, where there's a restaurant. We have a resupply box there, and we can get some showers and do the town thing. And then I need to find denatured alcohol slash heat for my alcohol stove, because I didn't bring enough, because I'm a dummy. Definitely not gonna find it at the lodge. There's a store that's like a mile off the trail, a little bit further east than the lodge. So I'm gonna call them, see if they have it. If not, I might have to get a little creative and figure something out, but let's go hike. All right, I'm a few miles in. The road that is the Talamina Scenic Drive or whatever is literally right up there. And it parallels the trail all the way to the lodge. And so Luke decided to take the road, I'm pretty sure, because I've been getting all the spider webs and he left before me. <laughs> but I have too much pride for that. And so on through the spider webs and the thorns we go. All right, we made it to the state park. Sure did. Luke's cleaning out. Oh, did you... Yeah, it looks like someone freaking yacked in there, but he's just cleaning out his pot. <laughs> Nasty. Our next stop is the restaurant and lodge. We got clean, and now we need to get full. Feed, face, whole. Words are hard. Let's do it. We have been hanging out here at the lodge for a few hours. Got some food, charged up. Now we gotta hike on. We're feeling so sleepy on this hike. Why are we so sleepy, dude? I don't know, dude, you tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I have to think about an answer. <laughs> See, he's so sleepy he can't even be good for the camera right now. <laughs> Alright, let's go hike. everybody got the rat hat on getting ready to go oh yeah it's dark today it's like nine o'clock but we're gonna do our biggest day today we're gonna go for about 18 miles just under 3,000 feet of elevation gain yesterday afternoon we convinced our waitress to drive us into town just so I could buy more fuel for my stove and it worked we also got some McDonald's on the way made a new friend yeah, buddy. Yeah. And then got back on trail. It's another day on the Washita. Washita. No, Washita, I think. I don't know. Comment below. Oh. Right here is 69. Woo! Isn't that just incredible? Today's day five, by the way. Taking a little break in the shelter here. I just want to give my thoughts on the trail so far. It's been varying degrees of difficulty, some steep stuff, but then most of it's been pretty easy hiking, I would say. The one difficult thing about the trail, other than having to witness this every couple miles, the one difficult thing about the trail is that, and this was to be expected, just not that many people hike this trail, which means the trail just isn't very worn in. And so it can be a little bit overgrown sometimes. And also all these leaves falling off the trees right now means there's just a lot of leaves on the trail and it's rocky. And so it's kind of hard to see where you're stepping. But other than, that's my only complaint. I love the open forest here. I love the shelters. It's nice and quiet. I'm enjoying it. Any, any, anything to add to that? <clears throat> I'm super underexposed. That's what I have to add to that. Can't take the editor out of him. I kind of miss people. I, I'm quite the people person, as you can probably imagine. Um, 
And acorns and tree branches have been attacking us from the trees, just kamikaze, suicide bombing us. Also, I think a squirrel was peeing on us last night because we were like, it can't be rain. But that's probably not true. <laughs> <laughs> the terrain has been rocky, which is to be expected, but it's been really nice today. We did that 11 mile stretch without stopping, and it really wasn't rocky till the very end. No, it wasn't bad. So I've been, I've been digging it, and I think I'm going to keep digging it. I like it. Let's go. I can call my mouth. It's gonna be great. <laughs> oh, you're filming. Dude, let me tell you about the stick bugs today. Oh my gosh. They are everywhere. If you're walking, they're gonna be hitching a ride. If you're stopping, they're gonna be hitching a ride. If they're coming from the, it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere, dude. <laughs> they're dropping from the trees into your hair. They're hanging from branches that are like leaning over the trail and then they grab onto your face from there. But anyways, yeah, freaking, it's been a good day though. <laughs> He's not exaggerating. They were freaking all over the place. I'd never even seen a stick bug in my entire life until like two days ago. And today I saw about 300,000. At one point there was one crawling on my leg and so I stopped. I knocked it off and I dropped my trekking pole in the process and I go to pick the pole back up and there's already three more on the pole. Freaking stick bugs, dude. They were, they were cool at first because I was like, I've never seen this shit before. And that changed real quick. Good morning, everybody. It's been so windy, as you can probably hear. This is the grand total of things that fell into my hammock last night because of the wind. I slept with that last night. Don't you love that? This little trickle here is our last water source for 20 miles. Luke's about to do his first ever 20 mile water carry. It's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be a ripper. <laughs> 20 mile water carry. It's okay. It's not as hot as the desert when I was doing that last, so I think we'll be all right. Ah, uh -huh. ah. Uh -huh. All right, so it should come out this way a little bit. All right, I'm putting all my weight on it. Ooh. Woo! <laughs> Dude, heck yeah! All of the little things. What can I do to deserve If I look tired as shit, it's because I'm tired as shit. 20 mile day today, definitely the hardest day so far, but we made it. And now I get to sit in this hammock that I've been using and also sit underneath this tarp, which I've not been using. This is a hammock gear tarp, I think it's 12 foot. I'm nothing special, just no doors, hopefully waterproof. <laughs> and then the hammock is the Hummingbird Long which I think is just under 11 feet long, no bug net, which is pretty doable on this hike because we kind of knew it was gonna be a little bit colder. Bugs haven't been bad. My favorite thing about this is the freaking suspension system. None of those shitty carabiners, like nobody likes those things, honestly. It's just got this quick little clip here. You just clip the hammock onto the whoopee sling, run it through there, which goes up to these straps. And then doing this one-handed is so much harder. Oh, we got it. Nope. Ah, oh, fucking A. And we've got it. Nice and easy. One of the main reasons why I wanted to come hike this trail is honestly because I was excited to try out a new hammock system. I bought all that stuff myself. Luke made some good recommendations on what to get. Hummingbird hammock seemed like a cool company. And so far it's been pretty good, honestly. All right, good morning. It is quite dreary and drippy out there. And autofocus is paused. Great. Chance of rain increases as the day goes on. So after over 90 miles of the Washita Trail and... Washita. No, it's Washita. It's Washita. That's what the Google lady said. It's Monday, October 24th. And after over 90 miles of the Washita Trail 
and most of the PCT. Looks like I'm finally gonna have to hike in the rain. First time this year. <laughs> so I really shouldn't complain about it. So let's do it. How do I What am I doing? I have a butt pad. Ugh. Now that's what I'm talking about. First step, filter water so I can drink some electrolytes. Unfortunately, due to the low water sources, uh, both of our filters are running at about basically prickle speed. Tried back flushing it, half-assed it, didn't really do anything. Oh my god. Two thousand years later. Beautiful. Uh-oh, my alcohol stove got hella crushed. <laughs> Nothing a little bending, can't fix. Might not burn as evenly, but never burns evenly anyways. This is what I'm after right here. A little bit of drink element. Oh, that's the good stuff. The trail has been much less overgrown today. A lot of roads kind of like this. Some actual Forest Service roads that we've seen some cars go by on. Nice and chill, I like it. I like it! I like it! Oh, sitting in another shelter, 14 miles in, have eight to go, big day today. Tomorrow's a town day, just gotta make it through. Got a hotel booked already. We just checked the forecast. Looks like a 100% chance of rain in a couple hours. So we're probably gonna get soaked. We are gonna be staying at a shelter, a different shelter tonight, so we'll be okay. But might have to kind of grit the teeth for these next few hours. And that also means the camera is getting stowed because 100% chance of rain, man. Let's, let's see how bad it is. Ready? Three, two, one. Three. Well, we made it. Woo -woo -woo! Look how wet this man is. Freaking. There's a joke in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, sure. We managed to make it until probably the last two and a half miles before the rain started. It, it never like completely just dumped on us, but it was just a nice sprinkle. And after a few miles, you're basically completely soaked. But we're in a shelter and uh, I'm just happy that these shelters exist, man. I feel like I'm back on the AT. I'm, I'm loving it. I don't care. We're going to town tomorrow. Everything's okay. Let's Everything's go gonna be fine. Town, baby. We just gotta make it through tonight and Based on this roof, I don't think we'll have any problems with that. All right, we survived the storm last night, just barely. I did not leave the shelter the entire time until right now when we're getting back on trail. Ooh, five miles, and then we are gonna get picked up by a trail angel. And where the hell am I going? Which way is the, oh, it goes this way. And then we are going to go to the Bluebell Cafe, which is a very famous, well, it's not that famous, but for this trail it's famous because they uh, take care of the hikers. They have really good food apparently and they hold resupply boxes and they do shuttles and all that. And after that, we're gonna go into Mount Ida, Arkansas and we're gonna get the hotel. First hotel room of the whole trail so far. We hit the halfway point yesterday actually while it was raining, so I could not film it. Half of the trail without a night inside, that's pretty good. Oh, I need some pancakes or some coffee or something. Here we go. All right, so in typical Kyle fashion, got to the road, went into town, and then just forgot I had a YouTube channel. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I took a little bit of B-roll of the amazing Airbnb we stayed at that was at an old gas station on the side of the road. It's the most bizarre thing, but it was super cool. And also really funny, we got to this spot yesterday right on the road here and 60 cent Yo. showed up. 60 cent Dude, and I met perfect on Perfect timing, like absolute perfect. Like literally timing. as we walked out is when that you rolled up. That road right over there is right where the trail comes. They walked across the road. They got to that about that truck sign and I saw them. Just pulled in That's here really, really fast. You were there. At him, <laughs> give him the, Dude, I'm here. <laughs> he's here. He's here. And it was funny because we had chatted a little bit because he's he's he yo-yoed this trail in the spring and then he went onto the PCT. That's where we met each other. He was briefly in one video for about two seconds. We had uh, we got hot dogs going on right here. 
Mr. Tristan, <laughs> also known as 60 Cent. 60 Cent. It's a little chilly outside right now, but... We have been chatting a little bit about how Luke and I are out here doing this trail, but we never actually made any, like, solid plans to meet up. And then he just showed up out of nowhere, basically. So it was super fun. It made our Zero or Nero yesterday very, very easy having a car to get around. It was amazing. And now he's going to go drive to... Uh, I'm going to go to Highway 7, which is about... 35 to 40 miles other on the other side of highway 27. Yeah, and then he's gonna hike in tonight from that direction And then we're probably gonna link up tomorrow And he's gonna turn around and hike back to his car and then hopefully bring us into town Again. You know for our next resupply <laughs> Super cool Time to go hike Say we call this home for the night, bud. Freaking bedtime, Chief. Hell yeah. Gorgeous. Uh, this is a pretty sweet campsite. This is one of the nicest views we've gotten on the whole trail so far, and we get to camp here tonight. No water. We had to haul water up a decent climb to get here, but well worth it. Uh oh. my shot of me perfectly setting up my hammock. <laughs> Hello, good morning everybody. Last night the campsite was amazing and we also had a little bit of fun doing some astro photography, is that what you call it? You definitely can't call it that in this case because uh, here, here's what happened. So we started out, Luke got the idea to like, you know, take some photos of the stars and stuff and then I discovered bulb mode on my camera. I also discovered that I could just open up the shutter, move the camera around, and this is what ended up happening. <laughs> we drew some penises because that's just what you do. And then Luke decided to take out his light and draw a penis like that. And then he decided to get even fancier with his light. And you know, this is, okay. <laughs> Let's go hike. <laughs> Gorgeous, mate. Would you just absolutely... I don't know what that accent is. We should Sorry. probably get moving before... All right, we're at the shelter. Sixty Cent met us here, which was freaking Enjoy awesome. This copyrighted music as I go to pause it, <laughs> and that's why we pay him the big bucks. Um, <laughs> we did like eighteen miles today. I was feeling it. I think my body's finally like, okay, Kyle, 
I've been hiking all year. Maybe after this trail, it's time to take a little break. But this is a beautiful spot here. This is a big bear shelter. And 60 Cent is currently on his way over there because the trail crosses over there. There's a creek down here. And he's gonna try to throw the zip chip from there all the way to here. Oh, damn it. Oh boy, this might be tricky. Oh, oh, perfect. Oh, 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 no. no. Damn it. I blew it. All right, f it. One more try. Oh, oh, yes. I could have caught that. No, no. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh yeah, she's gone. I got it. This will be easier for me. I'm the camera nerd who gets to... <laughs> on my camera, what? No, me. I would never do such thing. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No! <laughs> That's closets on the zip chipping. Good morning, everybody. We're here at beautiful Scooter Point. That's right. I'm at Scooter Point and you're not, bitch. It is pretty sweet. And we got a few more miles before we get to town. And we're gonna pig out. It's gonna be great. And then we're gonna wrap this trail up in a few more days. And hopefully finish on Halloween. All right, quick little town stop. And now we got almost seven more miles. But 60 Cent, this is the end of his journey. See you guys. Thank you so much. See you, Kyle. For everything. He made our hike much, much easier and it's much appreciated. Get home safe. I will. You guys get home safe. We will, That's maybe. That's the plan. Well, we hiked a few miles yep. and uh, getting some water for camp tonight. It's starting to rain a little bit. Which means the camera's going away and the next time you see us, it will be at the shelter. I'm going crazy. I've hiked too much this year. <laughs> All right, we made it to the shelter. Did almost 17 miles today, even though we stopped in town and dicked around there for a few hours. So it was pretty good. And the rain is coming. It's supposed to start at some point within the next couple hours here probably so tomorrow might be a wet one which unfortunately means the camera might be tucked away for a lot of the day i'm sorry if you guys uh want to support me ruining my camera you can subscribe to the channel that'll help but i'm not going to ruin my camera for you i'm sorry i love you but i don't love you that much good night <laughs> actually i'm still here Well, good morning. It's a lazy one. It's probably about 10 o'clock right now, and it's just been raining all morning, so we just can't bring ourselves to get out of the shelter. And I've said it a thousand times, I can deal with rain. I can deal with cold, but rain and cold is like worst case scenario. And, wind. and it's windy, it's just so nasty. And we have 55 miles left of the trail. We have to do it over the next three days. And so we're going to have to put in work at some point. I think we're only going to do about 15 today to get to another shelter where we can dry out at least tonight. Man, we're just procrastinating it. I think it's going to be a, once you start hiking, you just put your head down and you crank out all 15 and then call it good. Oh, well. Let's kick in the butt on the way out. Nah, you should have got it when it was like the big... All right, camera's going away. It's gotta get packed away. So we will see you guys at camp. We will see if this was nearly as bad as I'm making it sound. Well, good morning, everybody. It's the next day. Basically just ripped those 15 miles. And then when we got to the shelter, there's a few other folks in it. So it wasn't really the, the vibe when you're cramped in a damn shelter with other people. Um, gone about five miles today so far. Tomorrow we're finishing. So this is day 13. And unfortunately it's starting to rain again which means bye-bye once again. My feet hurt. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? May not have filmed much today, but that does not mean it wasn't an eventful 
fucking day, particularly just the last like couple miles of the day. I hate spiders. I've walked through about 10,000 spider webs today because no one hikes this trail and I was in front all day. So I'm covered in spider webs, probably a couple spiders hiding in my hood. Uh, it's great fun. I'm tired. Like, I thought my trail legs would kick in a little bit more as this hike's gone on, but I feel like it's kind of been the opposite. I feel like I've just been slowly running out of energy. I think my body needs a little break from hiking after all the miles this year. Um, fortunately, we've only got like 17 or 16 miles left of the trail, so we'll crash here tonight. Tomorrow, we will uh, wrap it up and hike back to the car. Okay, so let me tell you what happened a few miles ago. I'm going along across a road, and a dog comes running right up to me. Um, the trail, as it went back into the woods, kind of paralleled this property line for a second where there was like a house and some cars and stuff. So that's where the dog came from. It, it lives at that house. But I was on the trail and I kept walking and this dog, it wasn't like it just ran up to the edge of the property line and was like barking, like defending its territory or anything like that. No, it left the property line. It came right onto the trail and then it followed me for probably about a tenth of a mile, maybe a little bit more. The whole time it was barking, uh, super aggressive. I don't remember which, what kind of dog it was. It definitely wasn't an ankle biter, that's for sure. Whatever it was, it was quite aggressive. It wasn't just like a, a poodle, okay? Kyle hates hiking, isn't scared of poodles. This thing was mean. I did stick my trekking pole out kind of just as like a precaution to keep it in front of me. And every time I turned my back to try to keep hiking, this thing would start coming up on me and then I would turn around and it would slow down a little bit, just barking aggressively the entire time. Eventually, finally, it stopped. And I, it stopped once I like fully faced it and basically started hiking backwards to keep my face in front of it, you know, not turn my back to it. That's when it kind of, it didn't chill out, but it kind of gave up and stopped. It didn't turn around, it just stopped, kept barking and didn't follow me anymore until I was out of sight. And then I got the f out of there. <laughs> I've heard of this happening to other hikers before, so not fun. Honestly, the sketchiest like animal encounter I've ever had. Although I did almost step on that rattlesnake on the AT, but maybe tied for that. Like I, this dog, like I think if I hadn't played my cards right, this dog would have attacked me. But it's all good. Check this lake out. This is where we're staying tonight. Last night on the trail. Tomorrow we get dry and clean and fed. Good night. <laughs> Last day of the trail today. 16 and a half miles to Pinnacle Mountain State Park. Am I being double filmed right now? Yeah, dude. Oh shit. Film inception. I'm cold. My nipples are poking out. Let's get it. And then I limp away like a fucking old man. <laughs> This is the end. I'm here at the end of the Washita Trail. It took us 14 days. We averaged just under 16 miles a day, like 15.9 or something like that. This is the sign, this is the terminus. This is it, we did it. Kyle actually completed a through hike this year, somehow, even if it wasn't the, uh, the PCT. That's okay, it feels good. I'm very thankful I had Luke to join me on this hike. Yeah, dude. What'd you think? Dude, it was great. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. Because I was slogging through those last miles. Second all of that stuff. But um, but it, it was nice fantasizing for the last bit of the day about what we're going to eat. And uh, that might be wings. And as far as the trail goes, it felt just really nostalgic for me. It felt like I was walking through the, our, our family ranch in Oklahoma. So I flippin' loved that. I could have done with some more water, you know, as freaking Lil Otter. I like to swim. <laughs> and I like to be wet. But... You know, that's not always an option. No, nope. but anyways, I freaking loved it. Kyle was great company. It was such a good time. And 60 Cent, I know you're watching, dude. Thanks for tagging yeah, along 60. for a little bit, bro. It was such a good time. 
We'll see you next time. Woohoo!